Guys, welcome to the video. It's Simon the Watch Guy. Today, I am just bringing you a fairly quick video. It it really will be quick. I've gone out and I've brought my, bought myself a Braun a miniature travel clock, I guess you'd call it. Travel alarm clock is how they describe it. It's got the classic Braun style. It's essentially a quartz clock and it's got the distinctive yellow second hand. Now, I must admit, I don't know too much about Braun other than that I think it was 1921 they began, I believe. I may have got the date wrong. I'm just doing this from memory. And they do have quite a reputable history. It's a very, very, very underlooked brand. Now, they did start in Germany, and I believe now they're actually made in... Uh, China, a lot of their pieces. Uh, however, you know, you just can't, you really can't overlook them. I mean, it's a really nice, why am I showing you the box? Let me show you the actual, uh, the actual clock. I've just put a battery in it. So all you do is you pop up this bit here and I've got the green, there's a little bit of a green hand over here with a green, a uh, green hand with a or black hand with a green tip on the end is what I'm trying to say, a bit of a tongue twister. And when the hourly hand gets around here, it makes a makes a beeping noise. Uh, let's let's show you that. Why not? So a little bit difficult actually, to be honest, to turn to turn this when you're not looking at it. But here goes. Let's try do it. Okay, we're heading towards seven o'clock. It's about to go off. All you do is you press this button here and that stops it. So very easy. The only downside to this for me personally is I need to be awake around about half seven in the morning at the latest. So you can't, I don't think you can actually put this down to half seven. It will only go to the hour, it will beep on the hour, so I'll have to set it to 7 o'clock in the morning, which is okay, uh, but yeah, I, I think ideally it would have been nicer if I could have set it at half 7. Why have I bought this? Well, it really was as, as an alarm clock to use as a cheap, reliable alarm clock next to the bed, where I can just tap down on that button, so as I say it comes out, tap down. And that's really why I've bought it. And don't get me wrong, the second hand is a little bit audible. I'll see if I can put it right next to the camera. If you can't hear it on the camera, it's probably going to be one of those where if you have it next to your bed, it will be a little bit annoying. But either way, I thought if I get this and, you know, I do some research on the Braun sort of history, it will keep me essentially keep me grounded and it'll stop me going off and buying other watches. Although I did end up on the Braun website and I was looking at the Braun Classic, which is a beautiful looking watch again, with that sort of signature yellow second hand. So I, I think the watch addiction's under control, but I've bought this one just to, you know, essentially ensure I don't buy other watches. I'm just gonna reset the time to what it was. Let me just go back. What are we? We are half two. So we're around about here. Oops. It's quite easy to go too far. On the back you've got the green alarm setting which again it's colour coded with the actual alarm there which is quite cool. No recycling. It's certified. Oops. Wrong way. I think that will do. About there. Again, you can tell it's kind of cheaply made, but hey, this cost me about £4.80. pence. Four pounds eighty pence for this. It's really great value for, for what it is. I mean, on Amazon right now, this is about £22. So I don't think it's worth £22 personally. I think it's worth no more than about 10 I did have to go out, go out and buy some batteries. And I, honestly, guys, you won't believe this. The batteries I bought, so I bought some good quality no long life uh, batteries. £3.99 for the batteries. 
and this was only £4.80, so I've nearly spent £10 in total just, you know, getting this thing up and running, so, well, in, you know, including the clock, it's not, it's no big deal, it's no big deal, um, but yeah, uh, a quick update, oh, wrist, quick wristwatch check, we should have done that at the beginning of the video, I've been wearing for the past few days my Seiko 5, and to be honest, the time, it's been keeping fantastic time, I've, I've been moving about quite a lot though, so that's probably, probably helped. The spring inside is is probably really uh, quite quite tight. Again, uh, love this watch. I didn't in the end. I didn't end up selling this one because I knew I would regret it. I would have seller's remorse and I would end up rebuying the watch. I knew. I know I would. I know I would. So this is my favourite Seiko Five. Uh, very very thin, kind of kind of elegant, almost elegant, but at the same time a, a quite a, a macho sort of manner. You've got the. The, the, the gold, uh, this is the SNX G47K1, I've already reviewed this on the channel, I may do a separate, a, a second sort of follow up to this one, but we'll, we'll do that another time. Um, so for anyone who has followed uh, the channel, you'll know there is obviously the house issues and uh, I'm trying to, trying to get rid essentially and, and move on, onwards and upwards in life as they say, well it's all in hand, I hope if anyone is interested, I will certainly bring more videos to the to the to the channel just to give you guys an update because I know a few of you have asked me, you know, how's it all going? And yeah, it's uh, it's I'm uh, making making progress slowly but surely, and hopefully soon it'll be ready to sell. And like I say, I can hopefully move on and learn a big lesson. And obviously, I'll bring that lesson to the channel for all of you guys. This was just a bit of a one-off video, just just something I bought today, thought I'd share it. Uh, the Braun Alarm Clock BNC019 is the model number if anyone is interested in this particular piece. Uh, as I say, you can pick it up for £4.80 in the UK. So if you need a small alarm clock, whether it's for travel or just in general, so far so good. I've only had it one day, you know, it could break next week. I highly doubt it, but so far so good, I really like it, I think it's money well spent and it remains to be seen if it's loud enough to wake me up in the morning but you've just heard the alarm I think in the the cold, dark, quiet of the morning this thing should just about be enough. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, as I say I was going to keep this relatively short under, under 8 minutes, under 10 minutes, so that'll do me for now. Okay, thanks for watching guys, take care, hope everyone is doing well, and I'll probably see you in the next one. Okay.